Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to fill a small one pound uh, propane bottle. Alright, first we'll take our empty propane container and we'll weigh it. And so uh, an empty container is 14.6 ounces. Now that we've weighed the empty container, next we have that we're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour. And a little bit, in a little bit, and I'll explain uh, why this is helpful. All right. In order to refill your uh, propane tank, uh, you need one of these uh, couplers. I picked this particular one up from uh, Harbor Freight, and you can hook it up to just a standard um, propane tank that you'd hook up to a grill. Um, you can find these at uh, you know, various places. I think this one was, uh, I think it was about fifteen, eighteen dollars. All right, next you want to do is, is uh, put on your coupler on to your tank. So we'll have a look at this. First, uh, it is a left, this thing is a left-handed thread. So let's start a little bit. And then you can just, uh, you can just use a wrench, or I'm using a, a, a one and one-eighth uh, socket, or deep socket. Tight. Okay. All right. Next, you take your uh, chill tank and install that to, to this. This one's a hand tighten only. All right. Next, you flip the tank over and then. When you open up the valve, you might not be able to hear it because there's some lawnmowers going on over there. In fact, the instructions for the, the coupler says about wait about a minute. Let's go ahead and take a little bit. And turn it off. Alright, so just double check, see these things off, and go ahead and plug it. All right, now that we've filled this thing back up, we'll go ahead and wait. So we got one pound, 11.6 ounces, or three ounces short. Well, three ounces short of a full fill. Inside a propane tank, there is both liquid and gas propane, the majority of it being liquid. The tank is pressurized to keep the contents in a liquid state. At 100 degrees Fahrenheit, propane needs 177 PSI, of pressure to stay liquid. Unlike a compressed gas container like a scuba tank or a welding tank, there is no relation between pressure and the volume of propane inside of a propane tank. Normally the two forms of propane are in equilibrium, meaning that it's condensing at the same rate as the liquid is boiling away, maintaining a steady pressure in the tank. When propane is heated, more pressure is needed to keep it liquid. In this example, since there isn't enough pressure, propane starts boiling faster than it condenses. This increases the amount of propane vapor above the liquid, which increases the internal pressure applied to the contents of the tank. As the pressure increases, the rate of condensation increases, while the rate of evaporation decreases until the two rates become equal. If you cool the propane liquid, the same process occurs, except in reverse. During the filling process, once the liquid level gets above the inlet of the receiving tank, filling will continue as long as the pressure in the supply tank is higher than that in the receiving tank. The pressure from the vapor in the supply tank pushes down on the liquid, causing the liquid to flow to the receiving tank, which in turn causes the level in that tank to rise. The rising liquid will compress any vapors above it, increasing the pressure. Once the pressure of the two tanks equalizes, there won't be any additional transfer of propane. 
Here you have something working against you. When propane enters an empty tank, it will start to boil off, filling the tank up with vapor fairly quickly. By placing the tank in a freezer, the receiving tank will cool any incoming propane. As a result, it will not boil as quickly, slowing down the pressure buildup. Now, as longer you're able to maintain the pressure difference between the supply tank and the receiving tank, the more liquid you'll be able to transfer over, resulting in a better fill. All right, I want to go over some uh, safety tips about uh, refilling these propane tanks. And one of the things you, you don't want to do is you do not want to refill these things indoors. Um, there's two things about uh, propane. One, propane's heavier than air. And two, um, propane never, ever breaks down. You know, as opposed to gasoline, if you let it sit for you know a little over a year, it becomes you know, you know the gas goes bad and breaks down and you know, either evaporates or whatever it happens to it. Uh, it's no, you know, no longer becomes usable. Where this thing, you can leave this on the shelf for like decades and it'll still be good. That being said, with propane being heavier than air, if you refill these things indoors or just use propane indoors, um, any of the Propane gas will eventually settle down to the lowest point in your house and it'll just sit there and pool. And it will pool and pool and pool forever. And then it'll eventually collect and then and that pool will eventually grow to the point where it hits some kind of ignition source and then it will go up. What likely happen is either um, you know it goes boom or you know it ignites and then catches something else on fire, you know, some kind of like dust bunny or something else that will eventually catch and which then catches some other flammable item you know like if you have a bunch of you know carb you know dry cardboard boxes or paper or whatever then next you know you have this you know uh, huge problem <laughs> fire problem um, the other thing to keep in mind is um, with any propane tank in general is then they are never filled to 100 percent capacity with uh, propane liquid and it has to do with some of the thermal properties of it. Um, with propane, for every six degrees Fahrenheit, um, the volume will change. The volume of the liquid itself will change by uh, by about one percent. <clears throat> now, even though you know these tanks may have like some kind of a re relief valve, um, these relief valves are, are only designed to vent vapor, not liquid. So when you have this thing filled up, you know. You know, all the way up to the you know the very top, and then it heats up. Well, that liquid is going to expand. This won't, this valve won't be able to keep up, and the whole tank will rupture. Now, from what I've read from how other people do their um, their filling is, you know, when they have this tank hooked up to a supply, you know, as I explained earlier, and there's always a little bit of gas, you know, applying pressure to the liquid, and so once the two tanks are in equilibrium, you know, you can't, uh, or, you know, the thing will stop filling. At that point, what they'll, what some people will do is then they'll, while it's still hooked up, is they'll grab a pair of, you know, some kind of needle nose pliers, and then they'll reach into the valve and pull up on it to vent some of that gas. You know, from other places I've read that, you know, when people have messed with the valve, and um, the valve, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't seat correctly anymore and so from then on you know there would always be some kind of a leak and then eventually they would have to take the you know take and just toss it so uh, to avoid the risk of you know ruining one of your tanks i just i would suggest not messing around with it um, you know when i filled this thing i was you know i was just um three ounces short where you know the net weight is supposed to be 16.4 ounces you know three ounces short like no big deal i mean this thing even if I filled this thing halfway, it would still last me, you know, quite a bit. And, okay, so I run out. Okay, I'll just go refill it again, or I'll just have a bunch of these on hand. I mean, these are, they don't, you know, they don't really take up a whole lot of room. So I don't see a point of trying to squeeze in every last drop, in, you know, here, or at least getting as close. Now, some other guys, you know, they'll try to fill it, and then next, you know, you know, using the, the little new, uh, pliers trick, and then they're like, oops, I overfilled it, and then they have to go, Go do something else to go, you know, wasting more propane trying to get it back down to, you know, uh, to the capacity that's, you know, on the label, you know, so they don't want, you know, overfill it. Hope you enjoyed this video on refilling propane tanks. And again, 
Thanks for watching.